Hi, this is day five of Wonder Junction Science, spread the word. Okay, so in this one, the kids are gonna learn that we need to go out and spread the word about Jesus. And we do this with cup phones. We're gonna teach them a little bit about how sound travels through different mediums and uh, the longitudinal waves that it makes. And so each of the kids is gonna get their own cup phone to take home, and they, they really had a good time with these. So I'm gonna give you a couple of tips to make it a little easier to make these cup phones. So first, you're gonna need two paper cups. Um, doesn't matter what size, what color. You're gonna need about five feet of like a cotton twine. That's what works best from what I've researched. And then you're going to need two paper clips per cup phone. So the first tip I wanna give you is you can either put your holes in your cups with a nail or something, or quite honestly, I just used the tip of scissors, poked a little hole in there, okay? And the next tip is to get the string in here, I unbended one of my paper clips. Okay, so I just take this through the hole. I grab the string with it and pull it through. Much easier way than trying to sit there and feed your string through. And then you just tie a paper clip onto the bottom of the string. I'll show you one that's already tied on. And that's what helps keep the string in the cup. And then one other thing that you need to be sure to tell the kids about is it won't work if the string isn't tight, okay? We have some lesson in this one about uh, the telegraphs turning into the telephones. And so they can kind of see, you know, they didn't have cell phones back there. They actually had to use lines to transmit the messages. So this one was day five, spread the word. This is day five of Wonder Junction. Um, the experiment is called Marvelous Magnetism. So the natural wonder of the world for this day that we're gonna talk about is the Aurora Borealis. So we're gonna teach the kids a little bit about how we get to see that light show in the sky if you're far enough north. So it is a magnetic phenomenon and they're gonna learn all about that. And then for the experiment, they're actually going to get to see magnetic field lines. So what I have here is a bar magnet, okay? And just so these didn't disappear, I taped them onto our tables and then put paper over them. And you can use a Petri dish and put about a teaspoon of iron filings in here. If you didn't want to get Petri dishes, you can even put some in a little bag. It doesn't really matter. You just want to contain them so that they don't go everywhere. And then the kids will get to experiment with moving this around and seeing the magnetic field lines. So that was day five of Wonder Junction, Marvelous Magnetism.